Okay, you both have your instructions in the dressing room, okay? Obey my commands. Shake hands, let's have a good fight. All right, let's take a look at how these two fighters uh, square off against each other in terms of the tail of the tape. Carrasso with a two inch height advantage. They have the same weight and the reach is the same, 67 inches for each. Juan Carrazzo, the challenger in the black trunks, Gilberto Roman in the gold trunks. <laughs> Two look as though they're gonna start at a fairly quick pace here. Roman trying to get the left jab in. Carrazzo up on his toes here in round number one. Carrasso, nice record, 23 and 1, 18 KOs. Looks as though his hands are quick. Roman, however, quite experienced. 56 fights in his career, of which he's won 51. Slip. What can you tell us about the champion? Here? Well, the champion's got a lot of knockout power, Rich. He's, he's, you can tell, as you can tell by his nose, he's been around the block a few times. He's got a lot of experience, and he knows what it's like to be in a ring fighting for the world title. So he's gonna, you gotta give him the slight edge. But once again, looking at Carrasso's uh, record, he's got a lot of knockout power in both hands also. So in a fight like this, you never know, and also ranked number one in the world, so this must be a mandatory fight. So this is gonna be a very interesting match. Carrazzo is from Puerto Rico. The champion, Roman, from Mexicali. When you have a fighter from Mexico and a fighter from Puerto Rico. That's one of the biggest rivalries in boxing, the Puerto Ricans and the Mexican fighters. I remember when Salvador Sanchez fought Wilfredo, Wilfredo Gomez, when uh, Carlos Palomino fought uh, Wilfredo Benitez. Uh, those, those, uh, those are the greatest fights you can see. I mean, these, that's a rivalry, and, and uh, they possess some great fights. A left hand and then a follow-up right by the champion, Gilberto Roman. Sent the challenger, Carrazzo, stumbling backwards. Why was Carrazzo surprised by that right? Well, let me tell you, Rich, when you're in a title fight or in a fight like this, you've got to be very, very careful and be warmed up in the first two or three rounds of the fight because the most dangerous round is the first round. And Carrazzo really has not even broken a sweat yet. So he got caught cold a little bit. And he taps his gloves in disgust. We go back to the corner with Gilberto Roman the champion as he gets his uh, instructions from his corner man in the corner that one punch may have been enough to win the round i would well, imagine for roman i think they're i think you're right and i think he got uh, roman through that right hand unexpectedly as you can see right here he threw a left hook and a right hand as he was his opponent was going to throw a throw a couple of uh, combinations and there's the puerto rican champion Gold medalist of the 1988 Latin Games, Juan Carrasso. Amazingly, uh, Carrasso turned to pro back in 1984, but he has only 24 pro fights. Well, he hasn't been very active, but once again, Rich, when you've got these little fighters fighting, they, they go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and they're always in some wars. So it doesn't, their, their lifespan as a fighter ends a lot quicker than the heavyweight. So it's, it's maybe it's to his, his advantage not to have a lot of fight. Both of them have a lot of knockout power. As we said earlier, there are 51 knockouts in, between the both fighters. So this is going to be very interesting. Roman would be the other side of that coin. He has been a professional since 1981, and a good one. Carrasso reaching him with a left jab. Carrasso's doing a, 
doing what a lot of fighters don't want to do. He's lunging in. Taking the fight to him. He did get a left hook on the side of the head of the champion, Roman. But you've got to, when you have a fighter as experienced as Roman, when the fighter lunges in, he's just going to pick him off and cut him off at the pass. And that's that's something that we may see later on in this fight. Carrasso is facing a man who isn't easy to hit from utilizing the right hand because he hides his chin behind his shoulder. He does it uh, in excellent fashion. He keeps his left hand extended too, Ruben. And that's a great, that, that, there's a, a great uh, sign of a champion. He's, he's experienced, he's got that, that chin tucked away. And that's why he's got the record he has there, Rich. And that's why he's a good champion. 11 title defenses. He's held the title twice. Six title defenses the first time around before beating four. This is his fourth tonight. And his second tenure as champion of the WBC Super Flyweight Division. Interestingly enough, a man who Gilberto Roman lost the title to, Santos Laciar, was the opponent for Juan Carrasso in his last fight, and Carrasso defeated him. Yeah, but you know, Rich, you have different styles for different fighters. You know, Carrasso maybe had the, the style to beat this young man, but yet does not have the style to beat uh, Gilberto Roman. It's a uh, different matchup, different styles, and different fighters that, that uh, express their abilities differently to each other. So it, it's different. It's difficult to, uh, to uh, explain, but we'll see what happens here in 10 more rounds. The one thing it did indicate, though, is that Carrasso is a legitimate contender. He can beat a good fighter. You're absolutely right. That's why he's ranked number one in the world. Now Carrasso sends Roman back into the ropes. That right hand really kind of grazed the nose, however. You know, the, the body structure of Carrasso is a, he's like a miniature Hulk. He's got very, very strong upper body. And uh, the champion ha has a little flab, a little looks like to me, seems to me. We'll see what happens. We come to the end of round number two here in the WBC Super Flyweight Championship bout. Let's look at that Carrazzo right hand, Ruben. Yeah, he threw a right hand left hook That's, that uh, made the champion go back, but I don't think that was enough to capture the round, Rich. That was in round number two. We are in the third round. This is the WBC Super Flyweight Championship fight. It is Gilberto Roman, the champion in the gold trunks. Juan Carrasso, the number one contender, challenger in the black trunks. No knockdowns thus far in the fight. Each man has tasted leather, though. Carrazzo was rocked in the first round by a right hand. And moments ago, you saw that little flurry of Carrazzo's in round number two. Good left hook, and then he brought a left back to the body. An unusual combination by the champion, Roman. You'll often see the body to the head combination, but not the other way around. I tell you, a fighter that used to perfectionate that, a perfectionate, oh, good right hand left hook. Ruben Olivares was very, very good for that combination, up to the head, down to the body. Because like you said, you don't expect that, and neither does a fighter. Traza now lunging in, landing with the left hand. Roman moving a lot. Is he trying to lure him into some kind of mistake here, Ruben? Well, I think he's trying to, to outbox his opponent. I think he's trying to, to work on some things. Uh, he's got Gilberto Roman doing things that he doesn't do. Uh, Roman is one of those fighters that's, that's a flat-footed fighter, but now he's got him on his toes moving. Maybe he's looking for something. Carrasso is. Roman recaptured the title that he had lost to Santos Lossier that we told you about with a 12-round decision over Sugar Baby Rojas April of last year in Miami. His last fight, title defense, was also another 12-round decision over Rojas, which was in November in Las Vegas. So he hasn't fought in a while, since November. It's been
been a tactical fight so far. There's a good left to the body by Carrazzo. Coming now to the end of round number three, we will be back with the fourth round of this championship fight in just a moment. Stay with us. Round number four, WBC Super Flyweight Championship on the line. The challenger, Juan Carrasso in the black trunks. He's the number one contender. And Gilberto Roman, the champion, in the gold trunks. He slid under that left hook of Carrasso. Now he's just spinning him around. And referee Lou Filippo jumps in between the two before Roman could take advantage of the situation. That was a little veteran trick there, Rich. <laughs> he's veteran Roman. He just, he just wanted to make sure that he's got respect for him. He sure wants Carrasso to respect him very, very early. Carrasso just 24 years old, the champion Roman 27. Roman opening up to the body, tried to bring up the uppercut upstairs, but Carrasso was able to get away from it, but he was not able to get away from that right cross, and down went Carrasso. The right cross landed, Carrasso claiming a slip, but Lou Filippo says no, that was a knockdown. Hey, you can't fool those legs, Rich. That was a definite <laughs> knockdown. Now Roman comes in with the look in his eyes, of like he'd like to follow up on it right away. Here's where experience takes over right here, Rich. Hilberto Roman has had 11 defenses. He knows when his prey's hurt. He knows what he's going after. He just a, it's just a waiting game now. He's going to pick his shots. Roman misses. Wild with the right. And throws two left jabs out there. Carrazzo knocked down with a right hand. First knockdown of this fight scored by Gilberto Roman. And let's note, that was a very short right hand, right on the button. Wild right misses by Roman. Oh, down goes Colombia. Each man has been down in this, the fourth round. Roman is looking to his corner, nodding his head. The count is eight, nine, he gets up. Wow, what a turn of events. <laughs> this is, there goes my theory about experience. In comes Carrasso now. Each man has been down, and this is the fourth round. As, as Roman was on the canvas, he looked over to his corner. His manager said, grab onto his gloves, tie him up until your head clears. Roman landed on the left to caught Carrasso coming in. They each missed those jabs. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're scoring this fight, this is an 8-8 round thus far. Both fighters have been down. Left hand by Carrasso drives Roman back. There's the bell to end the round. But what a round it was. We go back to the corner with the challenger, Juan Carrasso, who was knocked down by a right cross early in the round, only to come back and deck the champion later on. We'll take a look now at the first knockdown of the round. Carrasso going down. There's that right cross. There was a short right hand with a follow-up left hook that hit him high on the head, Rich. But it did send him to the canvas. I think he was going to go down from that right anyway. We take a look at the corner now of Gilberto Roman. He also visited the canvas in this, the fourth round. Yeah, there were some short punches right up the middle. They both landed left hooks, but the one that landed with the more effective, was, effective one was the one that sent Roman to the canvas. So on the 10-point must system, Rich, that's an 8-8 eight, eight round. Round number five, WBC Super Flyweight Championship bout. And Gilberto Roman, you'd have to say his title is in some jeopardy now. Well, he got hit flesh on the chin. Let's see what kind of, uh, see if, the, if that minute rest cleared his head because he was hit with the flush on the chin with that good left hook.
Well, they were, they, were, they were two left hooks. Both of them landed. But he was the one that visited the canvas. There was a headbutt there. Carrazzo's left hook in that last round just beat by a split second Romans to the punch. And so that enabled him, of course, to have the greater force. Although Romans' punch did land. Carrasso trying to put the pressure on, but Roman easily side wheels away and out of there. Back out to ring center. Oh, they butted heads there, too. Roman Wild with the left hook, and he has to pay for it. Filippo says no knockdown. That was no knockdown. I was uh -oh. waiting to see. Now there were some punches landed in that, but apparently he didn't feel that the force was enough to send Roman to the canvas. He was slipping it off balance at the same time. I have to disagree with that, Rich. I think that was a clean knockdown. Well, every time think... they get close, they are banging heads in tight. Missing that right, just grazing Carrasso. Good left hook by Carrasso. He catches Roman again up against the rope. Watch those heads in there. Carrasso comes out of that clinch blinking a little. I think Carrasso's found a he's found a home for that left hook. He's on squinting the chin and he's blinking Carrasso is. Yeah, they keep, they keep butting heads. That was a low blow. Luis Filippo said, ask him if he's all right. He says, fight on. We'll be right back. A very interesting title fight. Let's look at that disputed no knockdown call, Ruben, in the last round. Well, as he's going down, he got hit with the left hook. So maybe that's what Luis Filippo thought, but he wasn't hit by the punch that sent him to the canvas. He certainly jumped up fast. <laughs> Fortunate for Roman that it was not counted as a knockdown. That would have cost him dearly in the scoring. We are in round number six. This is the WBC Super Flyweight Championship fight. The champion, Gilberto Roman, in the gold trunks. The challenger, Juan Carrazzo, number one contender out of Puerto Rico in the black trunks. I tell you, uh, Gilberto Roman, I don't believe, has gone to the school of boxing etiquette. He is using a few tactics here tonight. That well, I'll tell you something, Rich. When you got all, everything on the line, you do everything possible to win. Although it may not be legal. Oh, they, they're, they're colliding heads all... They've been colliding heads all night. Carrazzo has just taken in the last round or so into it. When they get in close, he turns his head to the side. Oh, look at this. I tell you, this could really degenerate into something a little ugly because the tactics being used by these two combatants are definitely not all in the uh, Marquis of Queensbury rule. Uh, a minute ago, Gilberto Roman looked like a, a fullback going into a middle linebacker with his head down. Combination of the body and the head by Carrazzo, but Roman did a good job of getting away. Then Roman throws a left hook to the body, a little bit low. I noticed that Roman's right hand is up protecting that chin after that last knockdown that he had. Russell Wild with his flurry. And 
he's tied up by the champion. So the action slowed a little bit in this round number six. We have reached the halfway point of this world championship fight. Carrasso nearly goes down. Action at the end of round six ruled no knockdown. Right at the bell, Gilberto Roman had Juan Carrasso very, very hurt, but there was not declared a knockdown, so it's a 10-9 round. Carrasso, the challenger, is in the black trunks. The super flyweight champion of the WBC, Gilberto Roman, wearing the gold trunks, bringing a record of 51-4-1 into this fight tonight. Roman, 5-3. The challenger, Carrasso, 5-5. Five, five. Good little right hand in close by the champion. Oh, great combination by the champion, Gilberto Roman, and that one stunned Juan Carrasso. He held immediately. He's starting to put his combinations together. Roman is left hook, right hand, right on the button of Carrasso. Fuerte, Roman! Carrasso lunging forward but missing with all four of those punches. And I think that's the wrong way to, to fight a guy like uh, Roman. I think he's got a, he should counter punch because Roman has all that power in both hands. Wild left hook missed by Carrasso. The champion Roman chains, trains with the WBC Super Bantamweight champion Daniel Zaragoza who soon will be defending his crown against Paul Banky here at the Great Western Forum. Roman was a representative of the 1980 Olympic team from Mexico in the Soviet Union. Carrasso tries to spin the champion around, but you saw how high he had his arm up in a defensive stance. Carrasso stumbling a little bit. Right uppercut by Carrasso. Roman's done a good job defensively in this round. Filippo tried to jump between the two. Round number seven coming to an end. And there's the bell to end the round. Filippo jumps between the two to end the round. And we go back to the corner with champion Gilberto Roman, who already has his mouthpiece out before he even gets to the corner. <laughs> He says, you haven't used your right uppercut. And hitting. The next time, a point. <laughs> and his corner man just told him to, to spin him. <laughs> now let's go to the other corner, in Juan Carrasso's corner. He says, you're not moving your head. He's hitting you with the right hand. Is it work inside? I think I heard about it. I know. All right, Ruben, let's take a look at how you have this uh, WBC Super Flyweight title fight scored so far. Got the champion ahead, 66 to 64. Very unofficial, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Lou Filippo warning Gilberto Roman in the corner between rounds. No more spinning and hitting. He said, I'll take a point away if he does it again. Step left. Quick 
combination as uh, Roman jumped in with the left and then the right. Ducks under the punches of the challenger Carrasso. Roman is not an easy man to hit. He moves well, good footwork, moves his body. Well, in the fourth round, he wasn't an easy man to keep down. <laughs> Good stick jab again by Roman. Roman really getting that jab to work now in this round. Carrasso answers with a left hook that throws. Roman throws Carrasso into the corner. Russell stamps his foot in disgust, ducks under the right hand of Gilberto Roman. But that's that's the way he's got to fight. I mean, Gilberto Roman did nothing wrong by spinning him into the corner. It's just a fight. It's a smart way of fighting. Good left hook by Gilberto Roman. As the referee says before each fight, Rich, you protect yourself at all times. Hey, Roman's jab this round has worked better than in any round so far. Definitely got Carrasso off balance in this round. He's got him totally baffled. He's got him confused. He's got him upset. And that's the worst thing a fighter can do is get upset in a ring. Probably exactly what he wanted to exactly. have happen. Absolutely. So round number eight of this WBC Super Flyweight title fight comes to an end. Round nine is next. Round number nine at the Great Western Forum. Rich Murata along with Ruben Castillo ringside for this WBC Super Flyweight Championship bout. The champion, Gilberto Roman on the gold trunks. The challenger, Juan Carrasso in the black trunks. Interesting fight. There has been one knockdown on each side. And they both came in the same round. That was back in round number four. Each man visited the canvas. Carrasso is certainly willing. Roman with the right left combination. The right cross followed it up with the left hook. And he just backs away very calmly. The champion never changes expression in the ring. We get all kinds of facial expressions and expressions of disgust or whatever from Carrasso. The champion Roman completely unflappable in there. He means business. He comes in, takes care of business, and gets out of there. Of course, after he gets paid, he gets out of there. Fighting a very calculated fight. Now we see Carrasso utilizing his arm to lean down on the champion as he comes in at him. Missing a wild left is the challenger Juan Carrasso. Carrasso moving in with those left jabs, but he doesn't follow it with anything. Now he finally does a right cross, and Roman easily ducks under it and comes up with an uppercut. And another one. Good right uppercuts by the champion, Gilberto Roman. You know, you're absolutely right about his, his uh, facial expressions. This guy could be in a poker game. You yeah. never know it. Oh, he got hurt with a shot there, Rich. A nice left hook. Yeah, he did. Look at those legs. Uh-oh. Nice left hook by Carrasso. 
Pop Roman coming in. And I don't think Carrasso was aware of it. He may not know it now. He may not know it now. It was a quick little left hook. And Roman holds on and finishes out the round. And then gives a, a little bit of a look to Juan Carrasso at the end of the round. Say, uh, fans, if you happen to be a USC Trojan fan or you're just a football fan, and we've got an event for you, June 23rd, mark it down, that's the Ricky Bell Memorial Golf Classic in luncheon at the Brookside Golf Course in Pasadena. You can come out, join Trojan Heisman Trophy winners like Mike Garrett, O.J. Simpson, Marcus Allen, and the Celebrity Pack Tournament. It's for the Ricky Bell Scholarship Foundation. In honor, of course, and in memory of the great former Trojan who tragically died of a muscular disease. For information in the 213 area code, you can call 821-6418. Also in attendance here tonight at the fights, one of the most famous men of acting and karate, Chuck Norris. Great man. Very active in the kickboxing world, and of course, very active in what he's bringing here to the forum as well tonight in terms of kickboxing. You're absolutely right. Round number 10, a scheduled 12-rounder for the WBC Super Flyweight Championship of the World. The champion is Gilberto Romani, is in the gold trunks. The challenger, Juan Carrasso, with a record of 23-1 and one in the black trunks. I think now Gilberto Romani is doing what Gary Stevens does so much across the way at Hollywood Park. He's pulling away from his opponent. It's down, he's going down the stretch now, and it's, uh, it's all Roman. When Carrasso gets close now, Roman quickly grabs the arms and, and latches on to them down to this and, side. And gets out of there, leaves him there by himself. And at times, talking to himself. Russell trying to fire out of the uh, corner. Lines a left him. hand in close. Look at how he turns his head again. Anytime they get in close now, they bang. We're banging heads earlier. Now almost an exaggerated turn of the head to the right by uh, Carrasso when they get in tight. I think Carrasso's trying to get the referee to tell him to warn the champion about his head, but he's not doing anything wrong. Carrasso open up, flurrying. left hook as he was coming in by Carrasso. Ducks underneath the punches of Gilberto Roman. Carrasso tries to bring up an uppercut. Takes a left hook for his trouble and is nearly wrestled out of the ring by Gilberto Roman. <laughs> and I think these guys will be inviting each other over for tea in the future. No way. He's rained on Carrasso's parade all night. Good left hook by Carrasso, though. That one caught Roman. But Roman, they, they hit each other simultaneously. Rich, both of them landed with left hooks, and I think the more effective punch was by the champion. Good left to the body that time by the champion, Roman. Left hook by Roman again. Roman many times will duck underneath a punch and come up with the left hook as he's coming out of that duck. <laughs> left hand by Carrazzo drives Roman back into the ropes. Again, they flash heads as he comes in. Left hand by Carrazzo, there they are again. That's spinning each other around. Isn't that a dance, some kind of dance, spin your partner to the right and whatever? <laughs> Everything but the do -si do included. We go back to the corner with Juan Carrasso, the challenger, 24 years old, out of Puerto Rico. The extremely fast hands that we've seen tonight. Not a good punch, but when you're in there with a champion, the likes of Gilberto Roman, sometimes those punches don't take quite the effect. <laughs> Throw the left. Move your head. 
Curi, mueve la cabeza y entra. Te pega dos rounds de vida ya. En Guinea. The last two rounds. Dos rounds. Seguí otra vez, seguí otra vez, seguí otra vez. Moviendo la cabeza, vamos a Continue punching, continue punching, continue. Vamos a matarlo ahora. Now they got too many guys going, and I'm not a ventriloquist. Uh, four guys in that corner, and they're all yelling at him. Round 11, Lou Filippo ready to meet the two at ring center, and here we go. WBC Super Flyweight title on the line. The champion, Gilberto Roman, and the gold trunks, and the challenger, Juan Carrasso, and the black trunks. Ooh, good left hook by the champion, Gilberto Roman. And Carrasso comes in firing. Misses the left and the right. Misses the left again. Roman very slick. <laughs> Carrasso's trying to do the same thing Roman has been doing him, doing to him all night, spinning him around, but it didn't work. Well, he's about 30 fights short of the champion experience That's, and savvy. You're absolutely correct. And he's talking about not inviting him over for tea. Menudo is definitely out of the question. <laughs> Carrasso got the left jab in, but then he eats a hard right hand. Oh, oh he did punch. it. Opened a tremendous cut beneath the eye. The one punch just blasted into him. His knee wobbled, and the cut opened up at the same time from one punch. Juan Carrasso in trouble, and Gilberto Roman, the champion, a man who knows how to finish off an opponent, is at work. But you know, the last time we said that, Rich, both fighters were knocked down the same round, so let's see what happens here. A near knockdown scored by the champion. Beautiful right that also at the same time not only staggered the challenger, but opened up a cut. There's the left hook by Gilberto Roman. What a vicious right hand that was by the champion. Roman is even looking at his cut. There's a target right there for the champion. But look at Roman is not a wild man in there. He's still picking his spot. Not swinging wildly for a knockout. Look at his eyes open real wide. He's going to pick his shots. He's not going to get careless like he did the last time in the fourth round when he got hit with a tremendous left hook to send him to the canvas as well. That cut is below the eye. So blood not flowing into the eye of Carrasso. Right hand by the champion, but then he was answered in turn by Carrasso. But again, Carrasso's legs are not quite there. We noticed a little stumble as he came forward again. Well, I'll tell you something, Rich. Those right hands, that make me stumble too because they're short and right on the money. Great exhibition in this round by the champion. Gilberto Roman, now Carrasso just grabs him around the waist, drives him into the corner. And there's the bell to end the 11th round. The champion, Gilberto Roman, with a big round. And just a little bit of showboat at the end of the round by the champion, the first time we've seen that. We go into the corner now. Says fight the same, but intelligently. There's the cut now on Carrasso. We're going to take a look here at the big shot by Roman. How? Right on the money. And there's a cut opened up just right after that right hand. What a shot. That was a devastating right hand. There's a great look at that cut. Obviously, that cut's not going to stop uh, bleeding. It's a fairly wide open gash. Here we go. 12th and final round WBC Super Flyweight title fight. The champion, Gilberto Roman, who was down in the fourth round. They were both down in the fourth round, but Roman, who lands a left hook, had a big round 11. And there's a right hand right on that cut by the champion, Gilberto Roman. Now, Roman is not, I don't think, should, is going to sit there and exchange punches with Carrasso. I think he's going to move and let the time go. 
and get his hand raised once again as another successful defense. Well, he but he can't get careless. He relaxed. That's exactly what we're, I was just going to mention. He cannot get careless because Carrasco knows that he's behind on all cards, and he knows he's going to need a knockout to win this fight. Well, just for a moment, Roman relaxed, and he put his hands both down by his side, and he had to pay for it. The cut bleeding again, streaming down the left side of the face of Carrasco. Ramon Wild with the left. Left hook catches Carrazzo coming in. A little combination by Carrazzo on the inside. Still trying to work to the body. Chanting Mexico, Mexico. They want their man to knock out his opponent. One minute remaining in the fight. Carrazzo still coming forward. He has been the aggressor. But Roman, a brilliant technician in there, has been able to avoid most of the punches. Surprised he was able to reach him with that. He was leaning away. His knuckles must drag. Yes. <laughs> still coming forward, lunging with the left hook. Trying to get the left free now as they pull inside. We come to the final 10 seconds of this bout. There will be no knockout. This WBC Super Flyweight Championship fight goes the distance. And as you can see, Gilberto Roman is sure that he has won this fight and retained his Super Flyweight Championship of the world. A man who has been there many times before, 56 fights previous to this, had lost only four times. He thinks he's won again. We're going to find out officially from the judges. They'll render their decision when we return to Fight Night at the Forum. We are back at the Great Western Forum in Inglewood where we have just witnessed a fast-paced WBC Super Flyweight Championship fight. It has gone the distance. You're looking at Juan Carrasso, and as you can see, the bleeding still has not stopped. That gash that was opened up by a Gilberto Roman right hand in the 11th round. It simultaneously staggered Carrasso and opened that gash underneath the eye. However, although it is a wide open gash that certainly will need stitches, it was not over the eye, so it did not endanger him in that manner in which the blood would drip down into the eye and would cause the stoppage of the fight. Gilberto Roman, certain that he has won the bout this evening. You could tell by his demeanor after the fight that he was sure he had made still another successful title defense. Very, very slick a boxer is Gilberto Roman, who many times, of course, during the course of that fight, gave ample evidence of just how experienced, just how smart, and just how much of a technician he is in the ring. He had a young challenger here, 24 years old, a guy who had an outstanding record of 23 and one. But Gilberto Roman, with that experience that he has obtained since being a professional of eight years, turned pro back in 1981, was able to hold him in good stead throughout the bout. There was one really spectacular round that came in the fourth round when Roman decked the challenger, Juan Carrasso. Looked as though he'd go in to try to finish him off. They exchanged left hooks, and Carrasso decked the champion, Gilberto Roman. Each man was down in that fourth round. I don't, however, think that any man at any time was ever close to being stopped during the course of this fight. The ring crowded with photographers, cameramen, the president of the World Boxing Council, Jose Suleiman, is up there as well as we await the decision from Jimmy Lennon Jr. 
This was the 11th title defense for Gilberto Roman, the WBC Super Flyweight Champion. The second time that he has held this, this title. Said to be a very outspoken guy. Former member of the Army in Mexico. And currently a stable mate of the WBC Super Bantamweight Champ, Daniel Zaragoza. Incidentally, we will see Daniel Zaragoza here on Prime Ticket in our very next show at the Great Western Forum when Zaragoza defends his title, the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship, against Paul Banky. That will be June 22nd here at the Great Western Forum. I believe now we're ready for the decision. Let's go up for the official rendering of it to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of championship boxing, we have a unanimous decision, and here are the point totals. Judge at ringside, Raul Kaye scores about 118-110. Vince Delgado scores at 117-111. And Dick Young scores at 116-112. In favor of the winner, and still super flyweight champion of the world, Gilberto Roman. The champion, Gilberto Roman, the winner by a unanimous decision and a comfortable decision at the end. Winning his 52nd fight against 